Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video we will talk about the 10 things to do in Istanbul. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for future updates. In no particular order, here are my top 10 things to do in Istanbul. These are the ones I chose because I believe they are worth seeing or experiencing, not because they are popular. As a result, I didn't include the world-famous Blue Mosque, but instead proposed something else. I'd also like to call your attention to a number of hidden jewels that are frequently overlooked while planning your stay. Enjoy! Number 10. Whirling Dervishes The Whirling Dervishes may appear to be a tourist attraction, but they are actually Mevlana's disciples performing a worship session. Through a prayer-induced trance, the dervishes become a bridge between God and humans during the rite. Despite being high on many visitors' to-do lists in Istanbul, it is sometimes skipped since seats are sold out. Make sure you don't make the same mistake and book your tickets ahead of time. Number 9. Hagia Sophia. This splendid church turned mosque turned museum and recently mosque again, is among the world's greatest architectural achievements. After years of restoration works, the Hagia Sophia, Aya Sophia, is finally scaffolding free, enabling you to absorb its splendor as it was meant to be. Standing in the midst of the vast nave, 65 meters over your head, under the 43 meter wide dome defies belief, and physics for that matter. Climb the spiral ramp to the gallery, where you may admire the magnificent Byzantine mosaics, which include Christ flanked by Emperor Constantine IX and his wife Empress Zoe. Number 8. Topkapi Palace. Topkapi Palace, Topkapi Sarai, is unquestionably a must-see attraction in Istanbul. For nearly half a century, generations of sultans called this complex of kiosks and pavilions, surrounded by four lush green courtyards, home. The harem, an ornamented cage of the sultan's women, the treasury with the crown jewels, including the famed Topkapi dagger, and the weapons room highlighting the Ottomans' great craftsmanship even, when it comes to crafting swords and bows are all top attractions at Topkapi Palace. Also, don't miss the amazing views of the Sea of Marmara, Bosphorus, and Golden Horn if you trek all the way to the finish. Number 7. Bosphorus Cruise. A cruise on the Bosphorus is a must-do when visiting Istanbul. Not only does it provide a great view of the city, but both the European and Asian sides of the famous river have plenty to offer, in the shape of century-old palaces and mansions. You can go on a short cruise, to the second suspension bridge and back, a long cruise, all the way to the Black Sea and back, or a sunset trip in the summer. My favorite was the latter, but it became a victim of its own success. I prefer to take the full Bosphorus Day tour these days, or the shorter version if you're short on time. Number 6. Basilica Sistan. Istanbul is fascinating not just on the surface, but also below ground, with the Basilica Sistan, Yerebatan. This magnificent underground cistern, originally used to transport drinking water from current-day Bulgaria to Istanbul, via aqueducts is a magnificent example of Byzantine engineering. Some find it lovely, while others find it slightly eerie, because of the lowered light and classical music playing in the background together with the sound of trickling water. Watch the fish move between the 336 columns that support the ceiling as you cross the walkways. The Medusa head, placed upside down at the base of one of the columns, can be seen if you go all the way to the end. Number 5. Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar in Istanbul is a great place to go bargain hunting. Despite being almost 500 years old, it is still one of the world's largest covered bazaars. There are 5,000 businesses, 60 restaurants, 18 fountains, 12 mosques, and even a school on its 60 streets. This is not a tourist trap, contrary to popular belief. Locals buy here every day, and they're likely to be greater bargainers than you. Carpets, leather, ceramics, souvenirs, and jewellery are all popular items in the market. It's difficult not to get lost in this maelstrom, so keep track of where you came from before wandering around. Number 4. Archaeology Museum. The Archaeology Museum, Archaeology Musezi, is frequently overlooked, which is unfortunate. This is a true Istanbul hidden gem, with one of the world's most extensive collections of classical antiquities. The magnificent sarcophagus of Alexander the Great, showing key stages in his life, the blue-tiled Karaman Mirab, the lovely tiled pavilion, and the Pact of Kadesh, the world's oldest surviving peace treaty, are all must-sees. With children, this isn't an option. The archaeology museum is located on the left side of the first courtyard of Topkapi Palace or via Gulhane Park. Number 3. Suleymaniye Mosque. I prefer the lesser-known Suleymaniye Mosque over the famed Blue Mosque. 
I believe it is the best and most impressive mosque in Istanbul, and it is not overrun with tourists every day. The Suleymaniye Mosque was built for Suleyman the Magnificent by the renowned architect Sanar and is a fitting homage to both. It's much more than just a place of worship. It's a collection of structures that includes a hospital, a kitchen, a school, and other amenities. Don't miss the tombs of Suleyman and Roxolana behind the graveyard, Sanar's mausoleum outside the complex, and Kuru Fasulya, Harako Beans, in one of the Alley of Addict's many restaurants. Number 2. Horror Church, Carrier Museum. The Horror Church, also known as the Church of St. Saviour or the Carrier Museum, is a little off the beaten path but definitely worth seeing. It is one of Istanbul's most spectacular religious buildings, located in Hora, Edirne Kapi, adjacent to the old city walls. This church's walls and ceilings are covered in magnificent Byzantine mosaics and murals. Some of these are regarded as the most important in the Christian world. Enjoy the ruins of the 5th century city walls as well, as the wooden Ottoman residences while you're there. Number 1. Dolmabahce Palace. Dolmabahce Palace is a sight to behold. Here are a few facts to back up my claim. The palace is massive, measuring 600 meters in length and including 285 rooms and 43 salons. It was created in 1856 by Sultan Abdui Mesut to demonstrate that the Ottoman Empire was in good shape, despite the fact that the construction had the exact opposite effect. Despite this, no money was spared, as evidenced by the lavish use of gold leaf, crystal, and marble. The Baccarat crystal staircase, the main bathroom, and the ceremonial hall with its 4.5-ton chandelier are all obvious highlights. It's astounding only to view the latter. Ataturk made the palace his residence once the Turkish Republic was founded, and he died there at 9.05 on November 10, 1938. All clocks in the palace display that hour as a mark of respect. Here are a few more. Galata Tower. One of the best places in town to obtain a 360-degree, panoramic view of Istanbul is the Galata Tower. On a clear day, the Prince's Islands can even be seen from this 60-meter high tower. On the ninth story, there is also a restaurant, cafe, however you can skip it totally. Instead, stroll through Galata's charming streets, stopping for a drink or bite to eat on one of the many terraces. You'll not only have a great time, but you'll also get a better deal. Getting scrubbed in a hammam. There is nothing like getting cleansed in a hammam to refresh your body. Imagine relaxing in a steamy room, laying on heated marble, listening to the sounds of running water, after a hard day of wandering in nothing but a cotton cloth. The first is located on Sultaname Square, while the second is located in Tofane Karakoy, close to Istanbul Modern. Click on the link in the description to discover more things to do in Istanbul. Find recommendations from locals, the best hotels, restaurants and much more. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.